Gina Paulus here with Home Buddies. Today I'm going to show you a great exercise called 90-90 breathing. What it's going to be able to do for you is it's going to help you stretch out the tight muscles in your back as well as help improve the strength and tone of your abs. So we're going to need a foam roller, two pillows, and some sort of support if you're on the floor, if you're on a harder floor, if you're on a rug, you'll be fine with that. And we'll need to set up near a wall or a door. So what you'll do is you are going to set up the pillows staggered so that your shoulders go on one and your head goes on the second one. And from there, you'll lie right on your back. And then you want to move your body to your approximately 90 degree angle with your legs to the wall. Your feet are going to be right on that wall. You can take the foam roller and place it right between your thighs. And then your feet are going to be a little bit wider than your knees, which means that your knees will be moving inward toward each other for the exercise. So there's the setup. You can lie with your arms flat down. And from here, we're going to take a big breath in, feeling the side and back ribs expand, and then breathe out. As you breathe out, you're feeling your ribs knit together. You're drawing your pelvic floor up and you're squeezing the roller and you're also drawing it down on the wall using your hamstrings for your feet. So that's a lot of things. To help simplify it, you can almost think of this as your system is inflating like a balloon and everything is expanding and then everything is contracting on the exhale. So we'll run through one together here. So breathing in, feeling your side ribs expand, feeling your back ribs then you will be relaxing your pelvic floor. As you breathe out, you're bringing your ribs in, you are squeezing the roller, pulling down on the wall, pelvic floor draws up. Breathe in again, ribs expand, pelvic floor opens, legs are a little bit more relaxed here, and then breathing out, ribs knit together, pelvic floor draws up, pull down on the wall, activating your hamstrings. And then again, breathing in, everything expands and opens, pause. And then breathing out, everything contracts, draws in, the inner thighs are squeezing and the hamstrings are activating. All right, so when you do that one, what you want to do is think about your hip flexors, meaning the front of your thighs, you wanna keep those relaxed. So just make sure that you're not feeling your quads engage. If you do, what you can do instead of the wall is you can put your feet up on a chair and you can do everything else the same. So I'm gonna show you how it looks in action while I'm not actually cueing because I can't really show it to you very well while I'm talking because obviously I can't breathe. So I'm going to show you my abdomen which will help you to see what's happening. All right, so here I go with my breath here. This exercise is great to be able to do about eight of them. Uh, six to eight really is good actually. And if you do more than that, you might find that you get out of breath or lightheaded. So you don't want to do that. So if you want to do more, that's great, but you want to take a little bit of time in between sets instead of doing maybe like 20 of them in a row, it's better to do three sets of six, three sets of eight, that kind of thing. Um, and so this one's really great to throw into your warm up at the beginning of your workout to get your core really on board and firing. 